Local teachers starting the school week back in their classrooms, but their paychecks for this work week will not be in the mail. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bill Harris. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Buena Vista Township's Board of Education says the school district doesn't have enough money to cover payroll, while the teachers union says is saying that they're going to sue if they don't get back the money. NBC 25's Walter Smith Randolph live in the news right now with our top story tonight. Walter? Bill, the teachers are pretty much working for free right now. The union president says they're doing it for their children. Now, they will be in the classroom this week, but for next week and for the rest of the school year, well, that's up in the air right now. Classes must go on. Buena Vista teachers are headed to work knowing they won't get paid. The teachers of Buena Vista School District are here, here for the, here for the students. Joanne Nash represents the 27 teachers who won't get paychecks for working this week. A 19-year veteran, Nash can't believe her eyes. Just seeing it and having it actually here right in front of us, that's, you just never see it. Neither can Buena Vista neighbors. It's an unfortunate situation, and I think everybody is paying for it. District officials say they ran out of cash to pay the teachers for the rest of the school year. I don't understand it and I would like to know where the money went. They're very worried, they're very concerned, they're very sad. The Michigan Education Association says they'll take the district to court if the teachers don't get their back pay. Well, I would hope that they would um, take a better look at their finances and really figure out what they are doing um, and have some vision about where this district needs to go in the future. A future Joanne Nash hopes comes into focus soon. We hope that they involve us to work together to come up with a plan so that we can have one and be ready for next year, for the next school year. District owes the state $800,000. District officials say they're working with the state on a budget deficit reduction plan. Now, we did reach out to the Michigan Department of Education, but we didn't hear back. Bill? All right, Walter, thank you so much.